We're here with uh, one of the newest members of your Rockford Ice Sox, Pat Mullane, uh, another Boston College guy, and uh, that list of Boston College alums coming through this uh, organization, both in uh, Chicago and Rockford, getting quite lengthy. So uh, there's some familiar names, I'm sure, uh, as, you, as you kind of uh, tool around here, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I've talked to, to Jimmy Hayes and Ben Smith quite a bit, and they uh, they both love the organization. So, um, you know, when it came time for me to make my decision, it, it was it was pretty easy to. Um, give them a call because they're, they're so, uh, um, you know, high on this this uh, organization, and so it was, it was just easy for me to make my decision. Before we kind of touch on your transition into the pro game, let's talk about the the college career. Obviously, Boston College lately a lot of success. Uh, congratulations on that, and and just kind of talk about going there and really probably right now the the premier college hockey program in in America. Yeah, no, I, I feel very fortunate to have uh, have played four years there under Coach York, and um, you know, for me when I was making my decision, it was. Um, you know, where can I have the most success and where can I win a national championship? And I think when you surround yourselves with, um, you know, with, with good players and, and good coaches, you're, you're undoubtedly going to have success. And so um, I was very fortunate to win two national championships. And uh, looking back, it was obviously I would have liked to have one senior year, but looking back, it was, uh, it was a great career for me. You're the captain last year, right? I was. We've had some captains come through here. Mike Brennan, I know Ben Smith wore some letters uh, in his time there. So, I mean, there's been a list of captains. Just kind of talk about the leadership role. And, and now coming to the pro game, it's almost like you're a freshman all over again where you're going to be the new guy in the locker room. And it kind of turns over pretty quick, you know, from being a young guy to an old guy and back to a young guy again. Yeah, it's definitely a, a tough transition going from the guy who sits in the back of the bus and, uh, um, you know, the, the leadership role and, and the guy who people look up to and then, coming here and I'm you know suddenly the the rookie again and um, you know so that's a tough transition but it's something that um, you know I'm excited for and I knew it was going to happen so um, you know it's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, we're at prospect camp and uh, something we haven't seen over the last several years uh, that we've been here covering this is guys getting dinged up unfortunately you're a little dinged up right now but besides that talk about the summer and your preparation is it any different preparing for uh, a 76 game schedule at the professional level compared to uh, a schedule at the college level that's intense with school but now that you're doing this full time as a, as a pro hockey player yeah you know I, I think once you're a pro you have to um, approach your summers a little differently it's uh Obviously, like you said, it's different training for a 30-game season than it is for a, a 70, 76 or an 82-game season. So I think, um, you know, I'll, the way I approach my, my workouts and my skating, I think I have to take a little bit more time and let the body recover. Um, and like you said, I am a little bit, a little bit uh, banged up right now, but um, you know, I still have plenty of time to get ready for training camp and, and, and rookie camp. So um, you know, just just take it uh, day by day right now. I'm sure uh, ever since you put on skates, your goal is to play pro hockey, and you're going to fulfill that dream coming up here I in October. But kind of talk about the journey. I know it's it's tough being a prospect and getting to the beginning of the journey and, and being in a situation like this. It, you know, you're closer than you probably realize, but at the same time, it's it's a long path, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I think you know, as a, as a five, six, or seven year old, my ultimate goal was to um, you know be a professional hockey player, and I think it's. Uh, I feel very fortunate that I get the chance to say that, and, and not many kids get the chance to, to say that. But um, you know, for me, I'm obviously not uh, I'm not satisfied by any means, and um, you know, I'm not going to let complacency set in. I think you know I'm here, but um, you know, I want to keep getting better, and uh, my ultimate goal is to be in the NHL. And so, um, you know, it's it's nice to be here, and nice to say I'm a f professional athlete. But um, at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is to, to be in the NHL. Pat, really appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest of the summer and the rest of Prospect Camp here. Thank you very much.